Tonight, 9pm, GMT, twitch.tv slash roll1d2games. I think, link will be in the top comment in the description. We're going to be streaming some Undertale. Me and girl are going to be playing some Undertale, just to see, basically, if I can go back to streaming now, see if my internet's finally up to the challenge. It's a game I've not played before, so it might be kind of fun, so come and check that out if you're interested. Last episode, we had that horrific... Uh, Japanese language mod, and I've learnt my lesson. Let's never take any advice from the comment section ever again. So if you guys want to suggest any semi-serious mods, uh, preferably more serious mods, what I'll do is I'll just go through the list and pick the ones I like, rather than picking the one that's the top comment, because that's not ended well, let's be honest. Um, so obviously we're not going to play with the language mod anymore, because if you thought it was bad to watch it, it was bad to fucking play it as well. I have, however, added six of some quite highly rated Holy Fury mods, some that were suggested in the last episode as well. So, one of which is, uh, I think I'm saying it's right, Patrum Scooter, which is Patrum Scutter, I have no idea. Which basically changes the way um, flags, coat of arms, that type of thing, heraldry looks in games. So you can see we've got like, it's, it's a very, very minor graphical change, but a lot it comes quite highly recommended. Now, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure it's working. Uh, bear in mind, if you look at the Aztecs, those are a bit of a mess. Maybe it doesn't support Aztecs yet, I'm not sure. They've got some really cool single county ones. It's just the Empire level title hasn't worked. Weird. Well, we won't worry about that too much. Um, it does change a lot of things as well. So, say, for example, in this war that we are currently in, uh, things like the Sunny Caliphate, for example, is highlighted. You can see they're much larger than the other titles because it shows it as a more significant title. So, it's kind of a cool little mod there just to uh, make things look a bit more interesting, I guess. We've got Bibliophile, which is a mod that adds a shit ton more books. We've tried it before, but it had some incompatibilities in the Mad World mod pack. So, hopefully, we'll see some of it in this playthrough as well. Now, to go along with that, I've added a more book slot mod so that we can actually use the books and see the books because we've already got more than four books. Um, it doesn't allow you to have infinite books, but I think it allows you to have 16 or something like that. Yeah, so 16 books. Might be a little OP. We'll see how we go. I might adjust it down a little bit depending on how strong it gets. Now, I've got a mod. Now, now don't take this one at face value called Lesbocracy, which sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I think it is intended to be a serious mod whereby you can um, guarantee the equality of women in your, uh, well, as you play the game, so, like, almost overthrow men in a way, um, it seems to be, uh, there, there's some interesting comments in the comment section, let's put it that way, but for us, it's perfect, right, if we're playing the Warrior Women Death by Snoo Snoo playthrough, so, eventually, you can get it so men literally just can't hold titles at all, not that women are preferred, but that men are completely disqualified, so that could be kind of interesting, um, there's also some events, but I'm pretty sure that's just for feudal rulers, uh, I've also got the Bloodline Enhance mod, which one of you recommended last episode. Basically allows you to make more than one Bloodline, uh, which is obviously kind of cool. And seeing as we've got a kind of a shitty Bloodline anyway, I don't think I'd mind that. The Vile Blood of Grand Souls Uogre and the Macabre Banquet turned out to be really, really crappy. Not nearly as cool as they made it out to be. So if we can make another one, that would be pretty great. Uh, we do need, what was it, like 4,000 prestige, and then we take the ambition. Maybe it's with the next character it will trigger, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you got to remember, some of these might be also horrifically broken, because we, we've joined it halfway through a save game. And then the other one is Imperial Court Societies, another one I think might not work. But essentially, if you're playing an empire, it allows you to have this sort of court society to so, sort of represent the intrigue and influence the court has within an empire, the sort of bureaucracy and the corruption. I don't think that'll work with our current save game, but for future playthroughs, I'm going to keep it, you know, enabled just so that we have that in the future. Say if we ever play as Venice or if we play as Venice soon and eventually become an empire, it'd be kind of cool to see how that interacts. So, thank God I can see what I'm doing. Holy shit. Mind-blowing. So who am I at war with right now? So this is still broken, but that's only because the war has taken... The war is dynamically generated, so obviously based on the last pack. So we're at war with this dude. Um... For, I assume, these provinces here. That would make sense. Um, oh yeah, we fractured the abbacies, didn't we? But then I stupidly declared a holy war. Even though they're all still the same religion. That's fine. Um, so we want to unify the rest of Africa. And honestly, we haven't got a huge amount left to do with that then. I'm kind of hoping we'll see some of these like extra books and things like that as we play. You know what we could do? We could also go and equip the other books that we've got in our treasury. Uh, that we don't have equipped right now. We had to unequip, I should say. Because of, uh, of the arbitrary limit they've put on having four books at once. Right, there we go. Um, I don't really understand the whole four books at once thing. I think it's very strange. It, it seems like an odd... Um, it seems like an odd design choice. It would make sense more if you, they had to destroy some books. Because there is that event when you're doing the um, the scholarship focus where your your spouse complains that you've got too many books. It'd be kind of cool if you did that but actually destroyed some in the process to keep it balanced. Rather than just, oh, you've forgotten how to read these other books in your treasury. Doesn't really make much sense. Uh, we should probably get Marie married again, eh? Mainly because... Of the stewardship bonus that will grant so obviously all the all the stat bonuses, but just generally the stewardship. Um, were any of you guys any good? You could have just said no, Jesus. Um, right. 
let's see, martial, kind of crappy, stewardship, kind of crappy, entry, kind of crappy, learning is very crappy, diplomacy, terrible as well. Um, I'm going to marry Mustafa just because he's got a pretty... Shit, that was not matrilineal, wasn't it? Not that it matters. Um, just because he's got a decent amount of uh, of stewardship there. Right, okay. Um, we are only 40. I thought we were older than that. Grand Saltigu, Orgy, the Witch Hunter. I thought we were much, much older than that. Weird. Oh, well. Um, the Republic, we're doing pretty well. Gior is set to succeed us. She's got 2,000 gold in the campaign, so we don't have to worry about succession or anything like that. She was married to... My sister was married to our father. Right, okay. Now, who do we actually want to get elected? What about our daughter? She's strong. Um, we've got a haughty, crappy daughter, and we've also got just a completely crappy daughter. So, Groy will be the one that we actually want to succeed. Plus, she's got Curious, which can turn into a shrewd, so that would be a pretty great character. Um, can we designate you as our successor now, or do you have to be of age? Oh, no, I remember why I did it, because if we die now suddenly, we'll at least keep the throne, whereas it can't go to a, um, an infant child, can it? So, we'll wait for that. You, the Basilia, that's a, that's, that's a nice flag they've given her there. Um, nice coat of arms, I should say. You want to marry my daughter to your son? No? Andreas Macedon, who the hell is that? I have no idea who this is. Is he any... Um, he's the grandson of a Basilia, so probably her cousin then. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's her cousin, right, or her nephew, one or the other. Um, I mean, it's not going to do anything for it, fuck it, you know what, take him. He's, he's worth this to me anyway. Uh, the, oh, there's a lot of boys in our capital, eh? I'll probably deal with that. Um, what have we got? So the Holy Order is crappy. Oh, no way. Um, wasn't expecting that. We could probably offer a vassalization now, then, to be honest with you. They might accept. He's going for a holy war? Wait, what? Oh, they still got some land in Greece. Are they, oh, are they being holy war? That's probably more likely. Defending against Basilia. Okay, so he's about to lose the last of his land. After joining a holy war. We can't, because now we're in a non-aggression pact with the Basilia. So I'm going to go ahead and break that betrothal as well, if you don't mind. Um, it was, it was my daughter. Yeah, it was. Break the betrothal. Get out of here. Right, let's try again. After joining war. Uh, Holy War, and absolutely, let's try and keep him alive. I want to see, it'd be kind of cool in CK2 if you could help, you know, other people out with external wars, kind of influence them to declare their own wars and offer them your support and stuff. But, you know, rather than just doing it, oh, we're not going to get there. Especially not when we've got, you know, 24,000 very angry abbasids outside of our capital. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think we really stand a chance trying to fix that at the same time. Right, um, I'm going to cancel the rally points then. Here's how we're going to do it. Cancel the rally points, put the boats down, put the troops down as well. Um, instead... We'll just raise everybody, raise all the boats, and just have them get on their their ships, like their local ships. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult because I'm mousing over basically half a continent here. Right, oh, careful. There we go. All right, embark all. Now, it's not going to be everybody, so we'll go and move them to, like, Gibraltar or something. Obviously, we can't move them to the capital because we'll just get smashed. Do we have, like, um... We could bring over some mercenaries. In fact, we could just hire some more mercenaries. We've got 7,000 gold, for Christ's sake. Right, how much, then? How much do you guys want? The Murdoch Raiders, welcome aboard. Um... I don't think we'll need to hire too many, but I am going to make sure that we're going to comfortably win this. Let's put it that way. You guys get it to Gibraltar as well. Uh, suggest your symptoms are not quite due to a serious illness. Oh, shit. We're ill. We are ill. Oh, my God. And we're severely injured. Oh, God. Um, Why are we severely injured? Severely injured? When did that happen? We're only a fledgling in the Children of Dongo. I thought we were a hero or a heroine. Maybe we actually never joined the society with this character, with Orgy. Maybe we never did that. I'm not sure. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. I kind of need a fresh character at this point. Oh, God. We've become scarred, but we've also got a severely... Oh, we've got a severe infection. Right, that's minus two health. We've also got a headache, which is minus 0 0.5. We might die. <laughs> we might actually just drop down dead in a second if I'm not careful. Right. Um... So let's be somewhat careful with our capital, then. I don't particularly want that to get smashed. We are dead. I thought that might happen. Well, thank God we've rigged the election then a little bit, eh? Um, another empire is under your control. There can only be one empire, so the cho choice now falls to you. Wait, really? Um, Emperor of Mali or the... Okay, well then, get rid of it. Uh, for only the Throog Principality is the true empire, I agree. Grand Sol to you, Gior, has got rid of it. Right, okay, that's fine. Um, on the plus side, it's going to make vassals in the Empire of Mali not hate us, so every cloud, eh? Uh, mainly because we control an empire that they want. So bring you boys up. Man, this is bad. Um, didn't really want to die in the middle of a war that we're not doing so well in anymore. Don't get me wrong, we've, we control the war goal. Yeah. Uh, that, though, that's not inspiring confidence, eh? Right, so, welcome aboard, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Speaking of inspiring confidence, hang on a minute, are we part of the... Ah, oh, damn it. Hey! Look at that, there it is. That's the, um... That's the... Oh, hang on, homosexual women to join the society looking for companionship, ed education, and independence? 
The school of Sappho. Um, we are women and we are strong. I don't need no man. Fine. How can I do that though? How can I become a lesbian? I don't think I don't think that's a choice I can make in game, is it? We could try it. Uh, I'm, I love that the initial character I go for is my daughter's trying to seduce. Hang on. I mean, we are a holy marriage, right? Or we are divine marriage. We are. We can marry our son. He's strong. We could marry our son. No, I want to marry for bloodlines. Let's, let's actually start marrying for bloodlines. If we become homosexual, that's obviously great. The only way to get that, though, would be to join the... Oh, we've also got access to the assassins, too, now. Um, the only way to do that would be to join the satanic society, which obviously we don't have. Right. Um, let's find some bloodlines then to marry into. Why not, eh? Um, so we want to go into the ledger. I'm pressing every button but the ledger button. I'm going to go... B is for... Blood, bloodlines? Bloodlines, there it is. Right, let's take a look. Um, King Roy the Butcher has... Hundreds of descendants. What's his bloodline like? Um, shitty. Like, actually awful. I'm not interested, Rorik. That's that's a terrible bloodline. What have we got? Harald the Fair Hair. What's your bloodline like, my friend? Norwegian opinion plus five. Norse opinion plus five. Attraction opinion plus five. Personal combat. That's crappy as well. Um, Basilius the Lionheart. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, Greek opinion. Orthodox opinion. Maybe not. We've got Genghis Khan, which would be, I think, pretty cool. Uh, mainly because it gives sky burials to us and eight personal combat. That'd be pretty great. Right, I might go and find myself a nice Mongol husband. Um, we've also got Radnar Lothbrook, who is... Oh, man, that's cool. Ready to give the Viking traits. Oh, that is pretty cool. So, right now we can only get piracy. But if we do that, we can get... What is it? It's, it's like Viking, Raider, Sea King, or something like that. Or Sea King, Viking, ra uh, or, or Raider, Viking, Sea King, I think. Um, we could become a Sea Queen, which is obviously much better than Pirate. That's a cool one, but it's. I, I feel like we could find something better still. Um... Bagrat Bragtioni, sure. Um, George and Armenian opinion seems a bit pointless to me. Uh, let's speak, see what this dude has got. Um, increased culture conversion speed from Budpa to Zhangzhong and Sumpa. Yeah, that sounds really great. Thank you. Really useful. Um, what about this dude? The son of Satan. Uh, you have... Characters tend to become ambitious. Personal combat skill plus 10. Vassal opinion plus 5. Damage plus 10%. We found our guy. This is it. Um... Right, so we want to find anybody with this bloodline. How can I narrow it down to living characters with this bloodline, then? I have absolutely no idea. Um, we could just track it down through his male family, I guess. Uh, let's go to his house. Let's find unlanded living male men, I guess. Um, like this dude. He's, he's unfortunately betrothed, but he would be kind of perfect. Um, he's married as well. Is there a better way to do this? If you know a better way to do this, let me know, for Christ's sake. Because I don't particularly want to be... Uh, Trying to farm up bloodlines by going through family trees constantly. Right, so you haven't got anyone either. What are these face packs? These are new. Interesting, alright. Uh, Dorje has a son called Dorje. He's eight, though. Shit. Um, a little bit annoying there. Right. Um, I feel like this boy is probably our best choice. Buy a favor, get him to court. Oh, his, his father is a duke, so that's not going to happen. Um, what about Thierry here? Nothing. There's got to be a better system than doing it like this, right? This seems a bit of a shitty system. We've also got to find somebody who's not in line to any titles or anything like that. Um, can it be inherited? It's matrilineal transfer, which isn't much use to us either. Um, I feel like we're, we're doing with this one. There's only 31 living members, and I feel like that's all of them, isn't it? Because it's got to be descendants from... I oh, was this boy. So that's all of them. Closest we can get, unfortunately, is like... Was that original dude we saw there, him... So not only would we have to get into our court, we'd also have to... Mm, yeah, no, that won't work. Okay, fair enough. This bloodline farmer seems like an absolute pain in the ass. Oh, we've got a fresh one, boys. It's a descendant of uh, of Genghis Khan. So he's got a pretty decent bloodline. Basically, the best one we've got, right? It's personal combat plus eight. Enable sky burials. Hunter opinion plus five. Not fantastic, but better than nothing by, by any stretch of imagination. Right, so welcome to court, my friend. Um... I, I did have a look through some of the other bloodlines. I was kind of tempted by some of the Viking ones, but other than that, um, we're kind of limited in what we want to grab here. So you are 32. That's pretty good. We're unmarried. Let's get physical, physical, and hopefully get ourselves some bloodlines. Get them to convert as well. There we go. 94 opinion. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's try and seduce him as well. Why the hell not, eh? He'll be mine. And I'm pretty sure he'll say yes to that. Let's demand some monetary compensation and go and save the Canary Islands before we lose everything. Right. Merge his troops. Um, oh, shit. This is going to be difficult. How am I going to save us from this? We're boat bombing into that. If we had a good commander, we'd be able to do it. Hey, piss off. Right, um... Get on the boats. So we've got 20,000 men. They've got 33,000 men. 
Right, you go and pick up some more troops. We need every last man that we can get, unfortunately. Um, let's bring these boys back as well. Let's move them right the way over to the coast. Uh, we'll leave some troops behind there to make sure everything's still sieged. Uh, I should... No, 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 there's no rush. There's no rush. We'll, we'll get him. Don't worry about it. Um, what else have we got? Worship the ancestors. Become a moneylender. Why not? We still can't... Wait, conceive a child. Um, due to your preferences, you have a little chance to becoming a mother, thus endangering your bloodline. What? What is this button? Due to your preferences. What does that mean? What does it mean, due to my preferences? Um, sure, okay. You have a lot of chance of becoming a mother, thus endangering in, in your bloodline. So, this is the ho this must be part of the whole lesbocracy thing, where only women can rule and marry other women. Um, you have the option to just conceive a child. Oh my god, it's perfect. It is actually death by snoo snoo. <laughs> um, what happens if I press this button? Um, a handsome servant, a strong guardsman, brilliant mind. Ah, so we can go for fair, strong, or genius, I assume. This could be very broken. Um, he's genius, strong, and attractive. This could be very broken. I like it. Let's get this over with. Yes. Um, he, he can wait. We'll farm him up for the bloodlines. This dude will do for the Lunis, Lunis, Lun, Lunisid. Can you just... This is ridiculous. Hang on. So we can just generate strong, genius, attractive men. We can, we can actually become a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. We'll just keep these fucking, like, t I hate to say it, sperm bags kicking around. We're pregnant. My consort will be pleased. I, ex of course he will. Uh, we'll take him as a permanent bag as well, seeing as, uh, I love the idea that they're just like, oh, no, no, we, let's not discuss this. This is, this is going to be demonetization territory if I get into this. Right, okay. Um, we need to go retake the capital. Uh, help me out here. Right, who have we got? We've got nobody good. Jesus Christ. State Inquisitor, you'll do. Let's set everything up. Try and get people on our side a little bit. Now, unfortunately, because we still have that, um... Minus 10 modifier from being an astronomic debt that I can't do anything about unless I reinstall Flogie's tech mod, which might break everything. Um, there's not a lot I can do with that. Now, they are down to 27,000 men. I am going to let them siege a little bit so they leave behind garrisons. Um, they might also fuck off. Or they'll just reinforce. Why are they reinforcing? They must have some retinues there, then. That's not enough to be able to stop them. Uh, let's wait for these other troops to get here. Yeah, obviously, the Spirit Guardians have lost the last of their land in Greece there. So we should... Be able to vassalize them if we want to. Because it's my brother in charge of them, right? I assume if anybody's up for vassalization, it'll be him. And we had a son who is a strong genius. What a shocker. Oh, this mod is uh, a little OP, eh? Kind of a little bit overpowered there. Um, fine. You're a son, which is not good. You could be Ogre as well. Uh, it's not good because obviously we want, we want daughters because we're strong, independent women. Um, what would do then? How many, how many times could we press that button? I mean, uh, huh, so we could just like, like, p just do that, so we could just buy ourselves three strong, sexy, powerful, brave, lustful men, we could just buy three of them, and then keep them as our consorts, interesting, I hate this, this has some really bad connotations for my monetization, but besides that though, um, it's kind of interesting, I guess. I don't... <laughs> trying to see the appeal of this mod, I'll be honest with you. Anyway, um, yeah, whatever. A group of smugglers, that's fine. Now, you boys come down here. Now, this is going to be kind of difficult, because even now we don't really have enough troops to be able to boat bomb into them like this. Um, we're leading the center. Jesus, only 21 marshal. 21, 21, 18. We're coming in at half morale, and we're taking a naval landing penalty. This is going to be bad. I think we can't win this. It's the issue, and they're not leaving either. Now they're leaving. My, I'm pregnant. I would, my husband will surely be pleased. Is that a guaranteed pregnancy event? Now, obviously, 750 gold normally is quite expensive. But for us, when we've got a shit ton of gold, that seems fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and confine myself for the rest of my pregnancy before I die. Uh, let's do that. Then when they land... Oh, shit, this is going to be so bad. Yeah, we're not going to win this. We might win this. Go. Back me up. Back me up. <gasps> we won it! Unbelievable. Holy shit, I never thought we'd be able to do that. Man. Okay, fine. Now we take back the capital. Uh, get the trait gluttonous or depressed. I'll take the trait depressed, thank you. Get the trait depressed. That's absolutely fine. I don't know what button I just pressed then. I probably should have read that event a bit more. Um, we're still we're still pregnant and everything, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Okay, not a problem. Give me that strong, genius, attractive daughter right now. Oh, I thought nine months passed. Wait, what? February? Well, soon. There we go. A son. Maston. Who is strong? Twins? Oh, another fucking son. God damn it. 
Um, right, name after, name after random ancestor. Uh, Rigoy and Ergo. Terrible. Like, actually awful. Uh, I'd need a daughter. Conceive a child. Um, again, we'll spend the 750 gold on the finest man money can buy. Welcome. You will also be my consort. Uh, who needs bloodline farming when you can just farm this up, eh? Um, let's get this over with. Look at that. Three strong, genius, attractive men consorts. That's ridiculous. A little bit overpowered, I'd say. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine, though. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be fine when we actually get that strong, genius, attractive daughter. So they have in that time counter sieged the entire war goal whilst I was counter sieging the uh, the capital back there. But it shouldn't be too bad because they're still going to have very low garrison size. Uh, split these troops up, like preferably in half, not into like weird sections. Thank you. Um, we should actually probably move them in and deal with this army first. The issue is we're the best commander in the island. So um, having a... Oh, Massa Throog. Strong genius attractive, boom. Fuck. Genius. Genius is fine, though. I, I really can't complain about that. Sure. Um, Massa, you will be trained in... I don't want to... I, I do want to get that, that really powerful warrior woman daughter. The issue is, like I've said many times before, Rowdy turns into... Rowdy turns into dull, and dull cancels out genius. Um, I'm going to risk it, though, because apparently we can just press a button and, and churn out a babby. It's like a vending machine at this stage. 750 gold a pop. Massa, terrible name. Uh, Gior. Have we got a Gior this generation? Roy, Ergo, Ogri, Tar, Daisha. What are these names? Sure, you'll do. Um, are we going to win that? Oh, it's risky, but yeah, we should be good. Right, there we go. Got him in battle. Right, let's take back these war goals, eh? Um, split these units down into, uh, into quarters there. So we want to take the 10k stack and split them up there. Right. There we go. We should be good. Never mind. That's fine. Okay. Never mind. That's fine. I'll, I'll let them get away with, um... Great Temple. That's fine. Yeah, I'll build a Great Temple. That's absolutely fine. The Barony of Fasata for 250 gold. Seems pretty decent. Um, I'll deal with all the realm issues after we've... Oh, fuck. Um, after we've dealt with this war. Speaking of which... Oh, shit. That's bad. Um, hey, can you piss off? Right. Uh, merge up there, I guess. This was a mistake. A holy war against a recently fractured Abbasid state was a bad idea because it turns out it's almost just the same as fighting the Abbasids. Weird, that. Right, kill them all. Um, cavalry leader, because we're entirely like cavalry at this stage, aren't we? So that's not a bad plan. Why are we still losing war score? What the fuck have they got occupied now? Lost control of Merzuk, Dajo. Um, we've lost... Controls... Ki oh, right, the, the, the war goal. Yeah, right, okay, no, fair enough, right. Let's carry on, then. Um, we've lost the majority of our troops. On the plus side now, we don't have to split up the armies, eh? So we should be okay. Right, this is going to take some time, I think, just to counter-siege everything. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Right, there we go. War is dealt with. Thank you very much, Abbasids. Uh, now we've learned, let's not do any more goddamn holy wars in a hurry. At least not until we've weakened them up a little bit more, eh? Right, let's give all this away, because I'm not really too interested in this. So you can have um, whatever this duchy was called. It was uh, Cy Cyrenica, something like that. This one? Oh, hang on. Do we actually need to make the title now? Power of Mali, no? Excuse me? We've got to usurp it? Oh my god, get out. That's mine. Right, there we go. Nice. Okay, a little bit of expansion there. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and give the rest of this shit away so I'm not holding it all. Um, here you go. Whoops! I've never been so annoyed. Right, okay, I'm taking that back. Hang on. There we go. She agreed to a trade. Uh, her shiny uh, African coronation for my um, first edition whatever it was called, the, the Emirate of the, the Cyrene Emir uh, what is this, sorry? Feudal Gynarchy. Oh, so the Lesbocracy mod does work. That's kind of cool. Um, Gynarchy, meaning, uh, women something. Women, 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 women control. Women, women power. Look, you know what it means. A government that puts women at the front and center of every facet. Excellent. Just like the way the world should be. Um, join together, White Knight Brothers, rise up. Women hold most, if not all, important positions in the realm, and involvement of men with important matters is reduced to a minimum, the way it should be. Um, they can take extra, uh, one extra consul. Oh, shit, hang on. Are we also this government type? No, we're a republic. We know that. We know the republic, because I've reformed us into a republic. Um, 10 out of 7. What the hell else did we get, then, that I, I particularly don't want here? Um, Tripolitania? Wait, that's not ours. Uh, Nalut. Here you go. Grant Lander title uh, to Nalut. There you go, Wacky and Phoenix. You enjoy that one. Um, what else have we got? Z this one? Fezan. Right, who has Fezan? Oh, we actually do have Fezan. Sure. Um, 
Grant landed title. Here you go. You can have the Emirate of Fezan. Let's do some round management then very, very quickly just to make sure everybody still loves us. Bamuk Tribe bringing in a shit ton of cash even though it is the wrong holding type. Look at that. My God. Are we actually getting that much cash from it even though it's the wrong holding type? Minus 25% and we're still getting 54 gold from it. Our most valuable province. What? Why? Is it all because of the trade? No, the trade post income is counted separately. That's actually all just from this. Hang on. Um, empty holding slots in province plus 100%. Heavy rain plus 100%. Trans-Saharan trade plus another 60%. Oh, shit. That's insane. We should be upgrading this then for the for the tax purposes. Man, we should probably hold some tribal slots. Oh, God, there's a West African revolt. Um, yeah, we're going to deal with that as well. And then, I mean, can we take another concubine? We should probably try it, eh? No, we can't. But we can inspire Melorism in ourselves. Um, let's go for the marshal. So that we can work up through our society here. So we can't become... Oh, 18% influence, eh? I wonder what they can do with that. So we actually can't join this society unless we have the trait homosexual. So I guess that's our goal for the future. Um, how are we going to guarantee that? Is there even any way to, to guide characters towards having that? I always thought it was completely random. Oh, well. Let's compose a book. Uh, managing around. Give me a copy of How to Build a Well, if you don't mind. Um, we can become celibate because of the troublesome pregnancy we had before. Uh... No, I think we're good. So we, we actually can't take another one. Again, probably because we're not that government type, eh? Um, we can, however, press the conceiver job button. So basically, we can take these boys as our, um, you know, as our concubines and keep rolling the dice on just random pregnancies occurring. Or we can guarantee it by spending 750 gold. Why not? Um, boom. Let's keep doing that over and over and over until eventually we get ourselves a... Uh... Oh, shit. This one's only a strong, attractive man. I feel like I might have pressed the wrong event there. Weird. Um, I, I don't, I'm not particularly interested in you anymore, I'm going to be honest. We'll keep him around. He might make you a commander or something. I mean, he's got 26, oh, oh sorry, 15 now, uh, Marshall there. Right. Um, I'm with child. I wonder which one of my consorts is the lucky father. Ah, uh -huh. hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out when it comes out crappy, eh? Uh, burn the apostate, absolutely. It's been a while since we've burnt an apostate. Do I want to upgrade it to a city? I mean, I probably couldn't hurt, right? I'm going to assume it would just give us more taxes, if anything. Because the multipliers aren't necessarily just from this. It's from the empty holding slots. It's from the, the Trans-Saharan trade route. It's from the rain. It's from, you know, all sorts of things. I don't think any of this... All of this would upgrade into regular city buildings anyway. Fuck it, let's give it a go. What are we making? 45 gold for it? Now we're making 137. That was a good idea. Well done, brain. Um, Man, that's going to make our monthly income much, much higher. Holy shit, especially when we've upgraded it all as well. So we can also go for, like, tax collector, local tax modifier plus 2% there is pretty huge. Go for, like, the the different districts. So so the poor districts and the noble districts lose tax, but give us access to higher levels. So the poor district, sorry, the, um, was it the, the noble district and the poor house there give negatives, but the poor district and the citizen district give more taxes. But you need to build all of them to build up the future level of upgrades, right? So it does balance out, but it balances out in your favor. Um, so that's not quite balancing out, is it? Uh, let's go ahead and actually sort out all of these notifications I've got to deal with. I don't really like these these flags. I feel like the, the mod just isn't working properly. The, the Aztec ones, don't get me wrong, look, look really nice. Like, these look really cool. Um, the bright green everywhere, though. I feel like something might be broken with that. Again, maybe adding mods halfway through a save game isn't the best idea. And a son called uh, Galusa. He was so goddamn awful. Actually, just the most plain child we've ever had. Um, a bastard can cause a lot of trouble, insisted Spymaster Grand Madam Maya Talzat. What a fucking name. Grand Maya... Grand Madam Maya Tal Talzat. Sure. Advise me there's an opportunity to get rid of the bastard. We're going to kill our daughter, Tar. Goodbye, Tar. 15% chance she dies. She lived. We're getting a trait fatigue, though. Um, early stages of gout. Uh, does gout bring fatigue? I'm not entirely sure that's accurate. I'm going to mark this as special interest, and we are just going to have Babby whenever Babby is possible. That said, it takes 750 gold, but it really didn't. It only took 250 gold. Um, he is a strong, attractive genius, though. I might even marry him. Um, primarily to... Oh, hang on. The bloodline. What about the Genghis Khan bloodline? Maybe we should make it so we've got strong, genius, attractive first, then go for the bloodlines after that to build on afterwards. Because let's be honest, genius is much more valuable than sky burials. Uh, I feel like that's a much better play. So I'm going to seduce you as well. You might you might get the, the honor of becoming husband. Um, yeah, whatever. Pirates. Fucking pirates. Burn the apostate. Just to make myself feel better about all the pirates. Where are my troops? Because we did send down 11,000 men. Because otherwise this rebellion is going to friggin' win. Right. Um, we might just have to swing for him and see if we can't deal with it. Uh, you should probably lead some troops again. Otherwise we could be screwed here. Right. Gior, Baka, and Malusha. Please help, for the love of God. There's no rush. We'll wait until after this war's done. Kill them? We should be alright there. Now, they are just 
Uh, we lost our center. In hindsight, I'm not that confident anymore. How the hell did we lose the center with Throog on it? Oh, Lord. Okay, this could be a problem. Oh, you know why? It's probably because we're almost entirely cavalry, and that was the first phase. That was the archer phase, and they've got a thousand archers. So they just shot us all dead. That would be understandable, really. Um, made Jerry King strike Adge Deer down. Turn us into a lunatic. Jerry King, strike him. Oh, God damn it! Now we get to play the lunatic playthrough as well. Well, we kind of... We haven't slain Cthulhu this series yet, so uh, we might as well, eh? Seeing as we did that about six or seven times during the Avatar series. And we are dead. Shit. I, did, I wasn't even expecting that, so I haven't even invested in the election either. Fuck it. Bamboozled again. Um, right, that's very annoying. Okay, fine. Who are we playing as now? Najiba the second of House Throog. Right. Also with the bastard daughter. You need to die then. First things first. We need to get rid of you. Um, 41% plot power. That's not ideal. Um, give us some bribes. We've got plenty of gold for it. 500 gold. Shit, the bed. Fine. Um, that's very expensive. Not a fan of that. 58%. We might be able to just kill him off. Where is he? Um, where's his, where's his capital though? Wait, that's his capital? Oh, no, he's just leading troops there, sure. Um, excuse me, sir, I'd like my capital province back, if you don't mind. Right, Grand Vizier, whatever. A anybody will do at this stage, I don't really mind too much. Well, that's two characters we've lost in one episode. This is kind of impressive. Going on for a new record here. Um, although, compared to the... Uh, what series was it where I lost, like, five characters in one episode? Was it the CK2 by Committee series? That was insane. For the most excellent, Grand Soul to you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, fuck's sake, where's our capital now, then? So we've also got a duchy. Oh, my God, we're all the way over there. Well, we're the we are the only landed patrician out of everybody so we've got that going for us which is nice uh you need to die though and we also need to rig the election so let's get ourselves back in the seat um did she immediately just cock us yeah i hear with that you can't just suddenly invest how much wait how much you can't just drop four thousand into your campaign fund you big shit okay well that's annoying um and we've lost our retinues we've lost our retinues as well I don't think I should be... Why are we fighting this war, then? Um, is it a rebellion against me? No, it's against him. Fuck's sake, I'll, I'll join it just because I know he's going to fuck it up and that's going to ruin my religion. Who inherited the religion? Oh, my God. Where's the religion gone, though? Oh, we've still got it, right? Because we're a woman, so he can't actually inherit that. Yeah, you got damn right. Gold power. Am I right, team? He's dead. No, wait, he's dead. That's not good. Oh, shit. Um, What do you mean he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> Banish some prisoners. That's the only instant way we can get money at this point. Please, 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 please. 200 gold. Please. Gold. Two gold. That's not going to be enough. You shit. God damn it. I wasn't expecting him to die that quick. Um. <laughs> well, at least we can take the money out of the campaign fund, I guess. Whatever. He's dead, right? There we go. Um. You're next on my kill list. Right. At least this, this time we don't have to spend too much, uh, too much money. Right. You're dead as well. Uh, plot to kill. Goodbye. Thank you for trying. Back to Throog hands, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, they're ransoming some boys off, which is obviously great news for us. Let's go ahead and take out their troops. Um, we need some commanders, or not. We're fine. There we go. 100% war score on that one. Now, who's this boy? Aztecs have gone to war for... Grandmaster? The Knights of San Diego. Oh, so we're defending the Knights of San Diego. The Catholic... Yeah, okay. No, of course we are. Why, why wouldn't we be? That's a good decision for our new liege to make. Fucking idiot. Um, blessings of Commander. How about you make me a Spy Master? I'm really good at that stuff, honest. Um, right. Damn it. Can't believe I squandered that. We're not going to get an opportunity to murder them that easily, are we? Um, although, a lot of people want to join this plot. And they're actually not costing me a, a hideous amount of money either. So we might be able to get back on the throne in no time. God damn it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys appreciate a little bit more of a sensible episode this time round. Um... I, it seems weird to say, but our ultimate goal now is to become a homosexual and join the society uh, to truly overthrow man in order to become true whammon. Ascended. Uh, super, super whammon level two. This is a dumb series. I'm going to give a shout out to my saying top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Zidini, Paul, Necrophil and Croesus. I'm the Lizard King. Josh Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pavis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zanzi, 7011 and Jackson Whitman. Full of support the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you all for that. And 
to my good friends, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintoniak, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gamer Van Ders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yohan DeFries, Duncan 22 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Cameron, Harry McGowan, Chris, Seth All the Swede, Astro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and in person in Igor Kozak. Give these people a round of applause for keeping the channel alive and well and kicking, which is more than I can say for any of the characters in this episode. Good game, everyone. <laughs>